Hey, welcome back to Cut and Grind Garage. Made quite a bit of good progress this weekend again. Got the radiator mounted. So what we did is we set the radiator and the chassis a little bit off center, moved it up front. Hopefully it'll catch a little better airflow through the grill and being up closer to the front and then offset it in the chassis so that we had room to get that turbo fresh air going past the radiator there. Uh, got the turbo mounted to the frame. A little bit of work on the downpipe just to make sure it cleared everything when we mounted it. We're we'll working on the hot side here soon. Um, got a V-band clamp coming off that T4 flange down there. And a short elbow off of another previous kit. So we'll be connecting that over to the HD log manifold. Then <clears throat> that cold side, it had another tube on there previous setup it went straight to the throttle body this one it's a little bit more offset but uh have to build a little bit of an adapter plate this ford 50 throttle body onto this ls elbow i should have got the ford elbow what we'll probably actually do is we'll swap so over here in this little falcon um this one actually has the ford elbow with the LS throttle body on it. And over here, I've got a LS elbow with a Ford throttle body on it. So we'll probably do a little tinkering there and swap those around. So what we're running for a throttle body here is the AccuFab uh, 75 Max. And it's rated at 1200 horsepower. So this setup we're looking to make 850 reliably for drag and drive events and then possibly be able to turn it up to somewhere around a thousand for a max effort deal but uh in june we'll be headed to mega week starting in tulsa for the drag and drive event and if we can make 850 and run in the nines catch an eight out of it uh i would be happy with that for the week so we've still got to put the uh, injectors in. Oh, let me grab the rail. I'll show you that. Okay, so what we've got here is we've got this. The Aussie Speed intake has the bosses for the injector. And then I got a chunk of just rail stock. It's already got the whole board through it. And then we'll cut it to length here to match the spacing. And I got the the bit. So this is the bit that does basically in one shot it puts the injector bore for the eleven millimeter, like a EV1 injector, and this is the through hole into the rail, and then this would be the O-ring size, and then at the very top there's a chamfer so that it'll lead that o-ring in so we'll be able to make our own custom manifolds and rails uh, we do have a couple other unique projects coming up so rather than be sending everything off every time i just wanted to be able to create our own stuff there um what we got for the valve cover is the the pierce inline um what we'll be doing is we'll be welding on top here an an fitting and then adding an oil cap so that it can be pressurized then it's got a pro max cnc head we're going to be running ls coils so we got coils mounted off of that uh that valley cover pierce inline does offer an aluminum one i've been watching but uh every time i check it seems to be out of stock so I think this one will do what we need to do for now. They don't, nobody seems to offer a cam sink. I've seen a couple other custom ones. On our other engine, we got one from Fox Rod Racing. This one here I built myself. So I started with a, a distributor, a magnetic, uh, magnetic pickup distributor, but then I've changed it off to a cam sink. So this is a Hall Effect sensor. Inside here, we've got just that aluminum piece that'll spin around 
but uh, it's got a magnet in it. So as the magnet goes by the sensor, it'll tell the Holly Dominator um, where the cam is in the firing order so it knows we can do sequential fuel injection and also timing um, advance retard and then per cylinder if we need to change it per cylinder we can we can do that too don't have any spark plugs in there just now the head's not torqued down it's just on there for mock-up to hold the intake and the and the exhaust manifold we run a remote water pump so we've got this custom piece here that gives us our water inlet and then for this radiator we got the same type of fitting that 16 an the water pump will ride somewhere down there. I haven't really decided where I'm going to put the alternator. It'll probably live over to this side. And then we'll have to put a belt drive water, or not a water pump, a fuel pump on there. We're not going to run an intercooler, so we'll be running methanol for fuel. The cold air side of the turbo will just go straight from the out turbo outlet into the throttle body. Have to get a little creative on the piping there. But uh, as far as the, the hot side down below here, we've got the HD log manifold up there. We'll bring the, the uh, exhaust down and then we'll have to catch into that elbow up front. So starting to make some progress with getting the turbo mounted and the radiator taken care of. Uh, get after it though we're 60 days away from that race in Tulsa Mega Week that's where we're trying to get to so I guess if you got any questions let me know we'll be working hard on it this week and we'll keep you updated then over here the other project my wife's 59 Ford Ranch Wagon it's the one that started us on these 300s um, it's got just a cast crank, stock rods, forged pistons, then a 68 millimeter turbo on this one. It does have an intercooler. It lives off in the fender there. So, a uh, air to water. And we also have, it runs through this heat exchanger in front of the radiator. We don't run ice or anything. We just circulate the water through that heat exchanger core and then over to the air to water um, but uh, this is what that fuel rail will look like this also has an Aussie speed intake down there that fuel injector cut into it and then the custom rail on top and it's got the Aussie speed valve cover that thing is heavy it's a really really nice piece but man it, it weighs a ton this is what we got to do for the other valve covers basically put this oil cap in and then the vent on the radiator or the vent on the valve cover and it just goes over to a catch can this one also has the ls coils just short plug wires this cam sink was also made from a stock distributor similar setup with that hall effect sensor and a magnet that spins around in there and then both of them on the balancer, they have uh, Innovators West with the magnet uh, milled into the degree wheel there on the outside of it. So we still have to put the crank eye on this one. We were going to move it from where it was to a new location. So that's the update on these 300s. This one's just about back together. Should have it running this week. I'll be testing my cam sink that I'm making. I'll swap it into this engine and see how that works. I know a couple of you had asked about them. Probably don't have time before June to make one, but uh, later this year I would definitely be interested in making a couple of them if, if there's guys that have interest in them. So for now, that's where we're at, and hopefully we have another good week, and we'll keep you updated. We'll let you know.